it's funny. We just had this conversation last night. Me and uh, Molly, uh, Mark's wife, Kelly's uh, sister, just about our renovation and what we got going on next door. And a uh, little known fact, we were very close to opening a second location this year. Uh, okay. Get a little bit into that if you wanted to, but yeah, well, uh, let, let, let's go down that road because you know, as as we talk about this neighborhood brewery idea, something like Brink, the, the, the identity is so centered around this yeah. being right here. How do you take that? And obviously, <laughs> you know, the plans have have changed a little bit, in there, I guess. Yeah, no, um, they didn't. but how when you're talking about that, how do you take that idea and be like, okay, maybe we could not necessarily replicate this, but take that idea and put it somewhere else and, and, and create something that still resonates the same way, but that has its own identity. And, and get, how do you, how do I you mean, plan I, growth I, for a place that is yeah. by its design? It's not. Supposed yeah. To I be mean, big. we're, we're a lifestyle business more than a growth business. And that's always been, you know, it's kind of weird because I think we've, we got a decent brand. I mean, it's a recognizable yeah. brand, not oh, only yeah. just in town, but throughout the state. And we get a lot of tourists who obviously heard of us because of the metals. So, right. We don't want to just sit on that and do nothing with it. So, as you know, I guess the last time we talked, we, you know, how do we get that out there a little more through the contract brewing? So, part of the plan was, you know, we were going to open a more production based facility. It was still going to have a tap room, but, you know, how you replicate that, the risk of sounding cheesy, it's just the people who are working here, the people who make the beer. Uh, that's all part of the identity. I mean, right. we're, the, we're the brewery you can come into and, the owner was, might be bartending or he's hosting <laughs> terrible curmudgeon trivia, uh, you know, which is our Tuesday night gig or, uh, you know, there's a lot of a uh, owner band is playing here. So there's, you know, there's just a connection uh, from the people who work here. And we, we really don't have any turnover, very low amount of turnover. Uh, there's been a few bartenders have come and gone, but for the most part, People who were here on opening day still work here. They're a part of it. They, I mean, everybody's really bought into the brand. So that's, right. you know, that's a big part of just what we do. But yeah, we were looking to try to, you know, take over more, if not all, of the uh, the packaging. Only way we could really do that is production facility. We put in an offer on a building. It was accepted. We had a purchase agreement to buy a building, went through design phase on it uh, and this was all under the wow. radar yeah wow, no, nobody knows this far uh fell through for several reasons one is the cost to build anything now is ridiculous right but, uh kind of got to a choice where it was like right at it was going to be about a 2.4 million dollar project and uh unlike a lot of breweries in town we don't have any investors here i mean it's me and mark that's you know kelly still has shares here but it was all just our own money and we've never taken on investors so yeah we've done a lot of it with bank debt and uh right. as we've gotten out of that like did we really want to pile <laughs> in that that big again so right. we kind of pivoted i know we were going to talk about the expansion that has or that clearly i've been bringing up for three years that hasn't really <laughs> happened but um some of that was we, we pivoted back to just you know who who are we this is still our roots it was always our agenda to, you know, try to buy the building next door, do something with that before we take this big leap into a second location. So we rightfully chickened out, like at the <laughs> like 30 days from closing this huge loan. Like, whew, thank God. Thank you for watching. For more episodes, more importantly, for full episodes, go to your favorite podcasting platform, look for Cincy Brewcast, and subscribe to the show. New episodes drop every single Monday and you can see why we like to call it the voice of Sensi Craft.